Hello, thanks for joining our Digital Sunday School, where we can pray, talk, hear a Bible story and learn from God in our own homes. We're going to start with prayer. You can help us to concentrate as we talk to God if we close our eyes and put our hands together. Dear Jesus, help us to listen to you and to what you say. Help us to understand how much we need you. Amen. Let's talk about problems. There are always going to be things we find difficult. There will always be problems in this world. So what are some of the problems you can think of? What are the things that you struggle with that you find hard? Are there any ideas you have about solving the problems? Are there any ways you could help someone else with their problem? Pause the video and have a chat about these ideas. In this story, there is a man whose problem is that he can't walk. He hasn't been able to for 38 years, which is a pretty big problem. Now, in Jerusalem, there was a pool, which is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by five covered areas. Here, a great number of disabled people used to lie. People who couldn't see, people who couldn't walk, people who couldn't move. One man who was there hadn't been able to walk for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, and learned that he'd been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Now you might expect the man to say, of course, or yes, please, but he didn't. Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. The man thought Jesus could only help by getting him into the pool. He didn't know who Jesus was, and he was so worried about his problems he wasn't trying to find out if Jesus could help him. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once, the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. Now the day on which this took place was a Sabbath, and no one was allowed to work on a Sabbath, which included carrying a mat. So the Jewish leaders saw the man had been healed and they said to him, It's the Sabbath, how dare you carry your mat? But he replied, The man who made me well said to me, Pick up your mat and walk. So they asked him, Who is this fellow who told you to pick it up and walk? The man who was healed had no idea who it was, for Jesus had slipped away into the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him at the temple and said to him, See, you are well again. Stop sinning, or something worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had made him well. Do you remember what Jesus said to the man he had healed? Stop sinning, or something worse may happen to you. Jesus knew that there are worse things that can happen to you than being sick or injured, even if it's so bad that you can't move without help for 38 years. Jesus knew that if our sin isn't dealt with, we will be cut off from God forever, and that is the worst thing that could happen to anyone. But that was why Jesus had come. He had a plan to deal with sin, so that anyone who believed in him could live with God forever. You can read about what happened in John chapter 5 verses 1 to 15. And if you would like to, you can read what happened afterwards as the religious leaders questioned Jesus about what he's done. We're going to try to learn the second half of Mark chapter 2 verse 17 using actions. Let's remind ourselves of the first half. You can do the actions and say the words with me. Jesus said, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but those who are ill. Let's learn some actions for the second half. For 
I have not come, let's wave your finger to say not again. Just like that. For to call, let's put our hands around our mouths again, like we're calling someone. Got it? For the righteous, which means people who have been made right with God, who live the way he wants, let's make a circle shape above our head using our hands so that it looks like a halo from an old painting. Have you done it? And lastly, but sinners. Sinners are people who don't live the way God wants, so let's do a double thumbs down. Got it? Let's try doing the actions and saying the words for the second half of the verse, all together. Ready? I have not come to call the righteous but sinners. Great work. If you'd like to dig a little deeper into today's story, there's a worksheet available with some questions to help you explore what's going on. There are also some songs and activities you can do to remind yourself of what we've learnt. We're going to ask God for help with our problems in today's prayer time. Let's think about any problems we might have getting to know God better. This is a very big and important problem, but one God really wants to help with. Your problem might be something like, you find it hard to believe in someone you can't see, or you don't think you have enough time to learn about him properly, or maybe your friends don't believe in God, and that makes it hard for you. Have a think. I'll leave a big gap in the prayer today where you can tell God what your problem with getting to know him is. Dear God, it's amazing that you are so big and powerful that you can help with any and all problems in the world. And it's incredible that you are so loving and kind. You want to help us too. Please help us to think of ways we can solve our problems and to help others with their problems as well. Most importantly, help us to get to know you better. My problem with getting to know you is... Thank you that you showed us what you're like in Jesus and that he died to solve the problem of our sin when we couldn't. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in at the Digital Sunday School today. Don't forget about the activities, questions and songs on the worksheet. Bye!